that I did not understand why Kathleen Lights like this so much. I know we all love her. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in a while. I am just running out of ideas. I don't know what else to film. I just can't keep purchasing things and then make a video about them. I just think that's excessive. But yeah, if you have any ideas at all, please leave them in the comments down below. I am trying. Today we will be talking about a product that I was influenced to buy by Kathleen Lights herself. She made a video on her channel and mentioned this product. So I have struggled with finding dry shampoos. I just dislike a lot of the dry shampoos that are in the market right now because of how much they leave a white like chalky residue on my scalp. Also, if they don't leave a white residue, they do cause like a a lot of buildup in my scalp and at the end of the day it just feels really uncomfortable and I start to scratch it gets itchy so I have steered clear of any dry shampoos and I haven't found anything that I like yet well L'Occitan has a new product that they came out with and it is a dry shampoo but it's not quite a dry shampoo and Kathleen Lights did mention that she loves it so I went ahead and bought it this is the L'Occitan dry shampoo mist so it actually feels very hairspray sprayish where it's actually very liquidy you can even hear it it is like a spray and it is very wet it's not like the traditional dry shampoos we see in the market i'm not sure if there's any other product like this i have tried it for the past couple days since i got it so i've been trying it for about two weeks now just to see how i like it and i have thoughts so stay tuned first thought i do like the smell of this it does smell pleasant it smells like tea tree oil yeah, it smells like tea tree and I do like the scent of tea tree. It really is nice and calming, but I don't feel like it lingers too long on the hair. I also noticed that the bottle has grills on the back where the ingredients are. It has grills, which I think is so considerate. It is a small package. So unlike a lot of the dry shampoos we've seen, they're usually like this big. And this is like really tiny and small, almost the size of my hand. So it's very travel friendly. Now this is pretty pricey for 2.7 fluid ounces. This does not leave any white residue on your scalp, which I am very, very happy about. I have tried multiple different dry shampoos and none of them really work for me. By the way, if you do have any favorite dry shampoos that works for you and does not leave a dry residue or does not cause any buildup at the end of the day, please leave them in the comments down below. I need a good one. So the way to use this is we have to shake well, spray onto dry hair at a distance of 8 to 10 centimeters from the scalp, focusing on the roots and areas you would like to refresh. Gently massage to spread the product, leave on for a few minutes until hair is no longer looking wet, then brush out, do not rinse. I tried that, as you can see in the video, but after a couple minutes, it still was pretty wet. So the formula of this is definitely not like chalky or powder. It's basically liquid. And what I don't like about this is the first thing on the ingredient list is alcohol. But I am assuming that the alcohol is meant to evaporate and leave anything else that is in the ingredients on your hair. So I'm not really that mad about it, but at the same time, it didn't really work the way it says it would work. Meaning it didn't really dry out and leave my hair, you know, feeling fresh. I did not understand why Kathleen Lights like this so much until I believe she mentioned something about blow drying and so I was like, you know what, if I blow dry my hair, it will help with the drying process and maybe I'll see a difference with that. So I tried it and I have to say, I really like doing that. I did not notice any residue. I've noticed that my hair feels like second day hair using this with a blow dryer versus like powder where you feel like your hair looks like clean and fresh, but there's white residue and there's residue buildup on the scalp itself. This I noticed I don't feel any residue buildup. So my scalp doesn't get too itchy at the end of the day. It just feels like second day hair and I absolutely love that. I am gonna be using this more often, but I do need a blow dryer. I don't think this works without the blow dryer, at least not for me anyway. So that's kind of like a con because you need a blow dryer. Give this a go, but use the blow dryer after you spray this on your hair. I think you get the best results with that. So let me show you my hair. So right now, 
now this is like second or third day hair you can tell i don't know if you can tell but it is actually quite oily and the way i know it's oily is when i comb it or when i brush it it just stays like that i don't know if you can tell i don't like it like this because it seems wet and it's not very nice and you can even feel <laughs> the oils on my hair so i'm gonna show you using this product how this will transform you saw in the video earlier that without the blow dryer how it looked so it just felt wet and looked wet now we're gonna try with the blow dryer just so that you can see the difference so i'm gonna shake this really well i'll spray eight to ten centimeters i don't know what eight to ten centimeters is so i'm focusing on like the scalp itself and not like the hair Next, I'm gonna massage it on my scalp. Just disperse that product around my head before I blow dry. So you can tell right now, this is how it looks like when it's not blow dried. To be honest, it still feels the same. It feels wet and even if I give it a couple minutes, it'll feel this way. It just doesn't dry up the way I would like it to dry up. So now I have a blow dry right here and I'm gonna blow dry my hair for a couple minutes, not too much, just until the product is visibly drier or like my hair feels drier. Okay, that was just a couple minutes and now I'm gonna brush my hair again. At this point, now I can actually feel that my hair is less oily. I still feel a little oiliness here and there, but it's so much less oily. I didn't put this all around my scalp, so there will be oily bits at the bottom, but I don't really care about that side. I just care about the top right here where people see. I can feel already that it is feeling less oily, but it doesn't feel powdery. And now it looks so much better. I don't know if you can see through the camera, but it doesn't look like glumpy and clumpy hair, unlike earlier. It looks like almost fresh and second day hair. It's also pretty shiny and pretty smooth, but there's no white residue. This will last you throughout the day. At the end of the day, your oils will come out again. And when you start brushing your hair, you will notice that it is a little bit more oily. So you'll have to repeat the process the next day to achieve this result. But I am actually quite impressed by this product. It won't give you that same look as you would achieve with a actual dry shampoo or a traditional dry shampoo. The traditional dry shampoos give you a like completely dry and almost whitewashed look but it just looks very different from this kind of product where it looks kind of like second day hair as opposed to like first day hair but a lot of people prefer the second day hair look I think you should try this product out, but if you're not that kind of person, maybe stick with a traditional dry shampoo. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short the I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet video. If you did, please like this video, subscribe down below, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. I will be leaving this product tagged down below, so don't forget to check that out. This is not a sponsored video. This is just my review of a product that Kathleen Lights influenced me to buy. I know we all love her. So I'll see you next time. Bye!